Holly here from All the Nephewness. Welcome back to another Proxys video. I am excited to be sharing this video because I am using the cutest of supplies ever. I am taking on the company Spotlight Challenge for Emma's Papery in this video. Um, and this challenge consists of um, a company that is chosen for us and we are to use all our supplies from that company. And so for this month, it was Pink Paisley. And of course, I was super excited about this because Pink Paisley has to be one of my absolute favorite uh, companies that, uh, you know, whose supplies I love to use. So I'm starting off with this acetate sheet by... Uh, the, um, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, Paige Evans. This is designed by Paige Evans um, for Pink Paisley, and it is from her Take Me Away collection. And I am so excited to be using this this paper because it is absolutely beautiful. It is completely stunning. Um, they are some watercolor flowers, and I am... So basically what I did is I cut around them. It was a 12 by 12 sheet and I just cut them apart. And I don't know where I've gone here, but um, I shall continue explaining. Um, I cut them apart um, from you know the two ends that they were on and I decided that I wanted to use them as a base to the bottom of my photo. I'm sorry, of my layout. So that is what I was doing here. I simply just stuck them with some clear tape uh, double-sided tape and that literally covered up the whole bottom half of my page and sorry if you hear a little bit of noise here my kitty is crawling on my desk as I do this uh, little voiceover she loves hanging out with me <laughs> so um, I picked out a few supplies that I wanted to use I ordered some pink paisley pages here um, which were the cut aparts with the frames um, so I cut apart all the frames from that sheet uh, and I didn't show it before I cut them out I had them all ready to go so um, each of these frames had a few quotes on them and I had these really small photos of myself from my Mexico trip in 2016 uh, and I just loved them I loved the photos and the flowers and the quotes on these frames so I decided that I was gonna mix it all together and uh, you know just go for it so I'm using the frames to sort of back my photos and what I'm going to do I don't actually I don't think I end up backing my photos since I'm using two of them I felt like the frames were taking too much from them so um, I'm basically going to create sort of like a horizontal type of embellishment column uh, if that makes any sense <laughs> through the middle of my page and my two photos are going to be in the center right above the photos with the leaves like right there with the leaves you know backing it real pretty and then I'm gonna have some frames on each side so you guys will see how this progresses now I have to point out um, the flowers look stunning on a white background. Um, you know, I didn't add anything behind them. I just simply stuck them down. And you guys can see just how vibrantly they literally pop off my page. And, you know, it is an acetate sheet. So you can't really tell from here. From here, it sort of looks like a patterned paper. But, you know, they are, it's an acetate sheet with gold, a little bit of gold embellishing on it. So I'm going to be sticking down um, one frame to back one of the photos and it's this one here which is sort of like a pink frame and that one's going to perfectly fit that photo of me. Um, I One of them is going to be backed and one of them is going to be, uh, you know, just sitting behind it, behind that backed photo with the frame. I'm also bringing some florals again from the Take Me Away collection um, from a 6x6 paper pad that I actually had in my stash which went perfect um, and I went ahead and cut a little bit of these floral clusters from one of the sheets that was in the collection in the paper pad and I'm just going to use them as you know bits of embellishing for my page. I wanted to really center in on these photos 
and it took me a little while you know to figure out exactly how I was gonna get it done I bring out a lot of pink paisley supplies so you guys will see how it kind of just keeps getting better and better because it really really does this one has to be one of my favorite layouts because of all the pretty supplies I got to use so I've got some of these bows from the Take Me Away collection. I like the yellow one and it's going to move around just a little bit, but it will it will stay on there. <laughs> and I think I'm not sure if I keep the yellow one or if I switch a color to be honest. Not very sure about that. Um I know I mentioned in my last video that I'm quite behind on some of my videos, so a lot of these processes are kind of new to me because I I've just been so lazy when it comes to getting my videos done and you know it's sometimes you just forget what you've recorded I also have these amazing mirror stickers and these are amazing like there's no other word for them uh, I think they're also from the take me away collection I'm not quite sure but I love these they have of course a little cover over the top so you know once you start well, I mean once you stick them down once you're ready to put them somewhere there's a little um, film that you peel off kind of like the ones that are on some of the acetate pieces and I'm adding a mixture of those mirror stickers and also the thickers um, which I also had for um, a while back. I'm adding a little bit of pink splatters to the top there. I'm really liking that uh, because it kind of just goes with the little, you know, vines that are going up into my page. Originally, though, the um, paper sheet uh, from which I cut the acetate flowers did have some golden uh, dots. Uh, but those, of course, didn't make it since I cut the flowers out. And these are the frames I was talking about. I really liked the quotes that are on these beautiful frames. Um, and so I'm adding the thicker smile as my title. Um, but I'm also adding those two little extra uh, quotes, which are the frames. One of them says, just the way you are. And then the yellow one says, be the light. And I just love those quotes. The pictures I took, you know, they're very happy photos, you know, very confident <laughs> photos of myself. Um, I was having a lot of fun on my vacation, and you can totally see it in my face here. So, you know, it's just a beautiful supplies for my photos. Like, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I love it when I get to work with pretty paper. So that is it guys. You guys saw the last thing I added was a little bit of gold thread and I'm just going to add a little bit more splatters and that pretty much finishes off my layout guys. I hope you enjoyed. I challenge you all of you guys to try and use one single you know, company uh, supplies to get your layouts done. It's a really fun challenge. And you don't realize, you know, sometimes how much fun it is to just be using the same company. Some of us do it a lot, you know, more than often, but some of us don't. So, yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this, guys. It looks like I'm just adding a few extra details here, but the video is about to end. And thanks so much for watching, guys. I will see you all in my next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.